Oh, we found it. There it is. You ready? There is a connection between the paranormal, UFOs, and the myths of ancient history. The clues are scattered across the landscape from a forbidden past, maybe even in your own backyard. There is a connection between the true nature of our reality, consciousness, and the unexplained. I am Carl the Crusher. Let's explore the unknown. Welcome back to the Carl Crusher channel. I am here at Zion National Park and the sun is setting and blasting me in the face, but check out these amazing mountains. I am up here because I am going to debunk a bunch of TikTok videos, YouTube videos. There's all these posts going online where people are saying there is this cliff wall with a doorway up here in Zion. They're saying, oh my gosh, there's a an ancient doorway, a lost doorway, some cliff entrance for giants or something up on the cliff wall. And I know exactly the spot that they're talking about. I know right where that is. I know what it is. It has a real name and we're gonna go check it out right now. There has been so much buzz and debate, people talking about giants up in these doorways, these false doorways that open up on cliff walls or canyon walls and such. And the crazy thing is, is that I've seen a lot of them here at Zion National Park. And it is such a beautiful place. And there's, they're not wrong for the legends of that because right over these canyons and cliffs is Fredonia and Kanab. And there is legends of the giants, the early settlers that came and settled the area over there in Kanab claim that they encountered giants up in the canyons and that they actually fought and killed some of them before prospecting up in the area but people say that there is a doorway like it's not a shadow like this it's a real tunnel entrance a doorway up in the mountain and i know right where that is it's an actual doorway it is one and it is a tunnel that goes all the way through the mountain but it's not for giants and it's not what you think I'm actually vlogging again as well. So over on my Carl Crusher crew channel, you can go check that out. I'm doing a vlog where I went all the way through Springdale through town. I bought a cowboy hat and then I'm also going to go and get some dinner and maybe a slice of pie later. So if you wanna hang out with me and take me to dinner, make sure and go check out the vlog channel over there as well. But for right now, let's go up the canyon. We're gonna show you guys the tunnel entrance, this big hallway or doorway in the cliff face. It looks really amazing. It's really compelling if you don't know what you're looking at, but people are totally hoaxing off of this. So let's load up and go check it out. Got my annual parks pass. I'm getting ready just to go through the checkpoint here, um, the toll booth or whatever. But while we're getting ready to go through the line, have you guys seen the podcast where Theo Vaughn, the comedian, jokes about coming to Springdale and then he can't find the words for uh, what he's looking for when he's describing this place. It's hilarious. Check out this little funny video I made about it. Did a show in Springdale, Utah, and it was beautiful. I'd never done this. It was like outdoors and there was, you know, just nature, big chunks of, um, oh. what is it? Like a big, um, how do I do big chunk of nature it's like where nature raises their hand kind of mountains they have huge mountains almost there hang on guys don't go anywhere yet we're gonna find this big tunnel entrance this cave to the giants this big doorway i'm gonna show you what it really is where it leads to. In fact, we're gonna go right inside of it before we're done here. But wow, this view, it just never gets old.
Okay. We made it. I'm going to start panning from left to right. Show you guys all of the mountains here. I'm going to bring you guys all the way around and show you that we actually found it. The tunnel entrance. Oh my gosh. Look, there it is. Can you believe it? There it is, the tunnel entrance all the way in. Was this made by giants? Who put this there, you guys? Clear up there. It looks like some kind of an ancient temple in the mountainside. Oh, we found it. There it is. Except, I'm going to debunk it right now, you guys. I hate to burst your bubble, but that is the Mount Carmel tunnel system that is part of this road right here. That's right. We're gonna drive up this road. We're gonna go up higher around this curve up there. There's a whole other tunnel entrance up there. And then we're gonna drive through this entire mountain, the Mount Carmel human man-made hand dug tunnel. But look how cool that is. It does totally look like something out of Lord of the Rings when you're down here looking up at it, right? Pretty awesome. So now you know it's not some magical doorway to the kingdom of the giants or land of the lost or the upside down or honeycomb earth or hollow earth or any of that. It is a man-made tunnel system that goes through the mountain that humans dug so that we would have a byway through Zion National Park that goes all the way through this mountain. And we're gonna drive through it right now. We're gonna go up here, drive all the way up through, and right out that tunnel as we go by. I'll show you what it looks like from the inside looking out. Hold up though, look how cool this looks. So we've just parked here, filmed our funny scene of the, the uh, forbidden doorways into the lost kingdom that people claim that are there. But look when I zoom out, look at the moon coming up. How beautiful is that? Wow. The camera does not do it justice, but it looks giant size here in this amazing canyon. Zion National Park. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drive up the mountain. We're gonna go further, get a closer look at the moon rising up over the mesa. And we're gonna drive right through this whole tunnel system that goes through the mountain right there. Let's go. An even bigger one. Oh my gosh, look. There's a huge tunnel entrance right up there. Let me flip the camera around so you can see. See, if I was hoaxing you right now, I'd be like, Oh my days, oh my goodness, look at this. Look up on the cliff side, look at this entrance into the mountain. You know, and I wouldn't show you that it's right connected to the actual road itself. I live right here, Zion National Park is right in my backyard. I've gotta debunk this one. It's been on my list to do for a while. Decided to come up here in the afternoon, had some time, might as well make a day of it and show you guys what this place is all about.
Hi. Can you tell the ranger on the other side that you're the last car? Yeah, you bet. Thank you. We did it. Look guys, we're on the inside now looking out. It's a road. We've got one more passage up ahead we gotta get through. There it is, I can see the light up ahead everybody. We're gonna make it. We're gonna do it, I told you. We don't have to worry, it's not giants. We're not gonna get eaten or anything like that. It's literally air vents so that toxic gas carbon monoxide doesn't get caught up in this tunnel system and choke you to death when you're driving through the tunnel it just lets air in guys it's all good it's not giants we're safe for now We didn't get eaten alive by giants. We survived. Well, now you know, guys, we debunked it. And there's the moon. We got our moon back. These tunnels up there are the Mount Carmel tunnel system. They are 1.1 miles long. They are man-made and they are at the top of uh, Springdale up here at Zion National Park. You can come up here and visit Zion National Park. You can see all of my friends uh, down in town stay at the Water Canyon Resort Winery or Zion Glamping Adventures, go on UTV tour rides and let them know that I sent you and that you came here uh, to hang out with me and we can hook you guys up with maybe like a, a private experience where I can drive you around and show you all these cool spots. But these tunnel systems are really cool. That doesn't mean there isn't mysterious ancient lost cave systems, tunnel systems, burials, or even lost uh, giants and bones of giants. I have friends that swear they have found the bones themselves. I've seen petroglyphs of giant figures and uh, symbols that and glyphs up in these canyons that signify the land of the giants with six fingers on each hand and on each foot has six toes or even more and there's even giant figures alongside of little tiny people and there's even uh, legends of little people that live up in these canyons as well but we're in Zion National Park here it's full of traffic and tourism and all that stuff and now I would love to take you guys out on a date with me if you want to come with me to dinner on a dinner date please join me tonight for a dinner reservation we're gonna go into town down in Springdale and uh, find a place to have dinner and maybe a slice of pie. If you want to join me for dinner, please come and visit me over on my vlog channel. I'll put the link up in the iCard and on the end slate so you can find me over there. I would love to have you. I know I'm being all romantic right now. If you want to come out on a date with me for a dinner night, for guys night out, whichever one, I don't really care hit me up over on the vlog channel, but I thought this was fun. I had to come up here and debunk this and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.